You know, remember all that talk and it was legit about this team not being in shape. They're in much better shape. Virginia Tech came to town wanting to run and gun as soon as they got off the bus. Kentucky says, okay, we'll play your game. The game was fun to watch, a lot of fun. Now all Kentucky had to do was win. Quite green and his shades to protect his eyes. He had 17 points, looked good. And there's Diallo in transition, 7-5 after a Virginia Tech turnover. They had 19 turnovers. And Green to Richards, 9-5 Kentucky. How about Knox baseline? Sweet move, 14-11, he had 21 to lead the Cats. Gabriel played very well from the baseline. He had three, 24-23 Kentucky. Say Green again. Absolutely. Virginia Tech, tell you what, they turned it over way too much. A Green with another shot. 31-32, Cats are down, then it's Knox, and then another Knox for three, and Diallo hits a three, 34-32, Kentucky. Now it's green. This is sweet. Look at this floater. Ooh, how nice is that? 39-37, but Blackshear with a strong layup. Tech is trailing 47-39. Knox then is fouled. Kentucky down by one. And the steal, Washington with a slam. 52-51 Kentucky, that was big. And look at Gabriel, go to the boards. He had nine rebounds and seven points. Diallo with another three, he had 20. Kentucky was 11 to 22, are you kidding me? That's unbelievable. Then it's Knox with a little miss, and look at Washington. And you can say Washington to Knox, and it's 85-80. And Diallo says, you know what, I got the icing on the cake. Kentucky wins 93-86. Keith has our postgame report. After getting poked in the right eye in the last game against Monmouth, Quade Green came into Rupp Arena wearing shaded protective glasses, effectively sunglasses indoors in a basketball game. You don't see that very often. Many people, if he had had a bad game, could have said, oh, he was just trying to look cool. Quade did not. He had 17 points, five assists, and just one turnover. So after the performance today, are those glasses going to become like a season-long thing? Oh, yeah, they, all season. Really? The whole season, You're yeah. going to wear them the rest of the season? Classic, yeah, all season. The shaded ones? Yep, all, all season. Right. I need them because I, I I can't get poked in my eye again. I'm scared why, of that. Why shaded, Quade, rather than uh, the light, the, the light messed it up. My eye still messed up, so. He's playing the way I want him to play, which is score baskets, kid. Score baskets, that's what you do. But by doing that, he's getting five assists in one turn. So instead of being like, watch me with the ball and bouncing it 12 times, he's either trying to score it, and if you stop him from scoring it, he'll give it to somebody because he's a good enough passer. I just play my game. No matter what I got on, I can have Tim's on, boots on, I'm still going to play my game, so it doesn't matter. So from here, the Wildcats got another week off. They'll hit the court again next Saturday, and that's when they'll have another monster matchup against UCLA down in New Orleans. From Rupp Arena, Keith Farmer, LEX 18 Sports. Thank you, Keith. The Dallas Morning News says that former Kentucky basketball coach Billy Gillespie is, has an urgent need for a kidney transplant. Billy returned to Ranger Community College this year after walking away last season due to a health issue. I'm not ashamed to say I shed some tears this morning. Whatever a true Kentucky player is supposed to be, Joey Couch was it. Last night at the age of 49, his heart gave out. When he played, in all my years in Lexington, his heart was as big as anyone. I always thought if he played middle linebacker, he'd make it in the NFL. Kentucky was desperate, so they moved Couch, number 48, and his 220 pounds to the defensive line. He was all-conference. He had a great high school career as a basketball player as well in Paintsville. His son Braxton put this on Facebook. Still feels like a bad dream. My dad was my Superman and the man I always looked up to and learned how to be a man from. I know he impacted so many people's lives, and he was a man that would always go out of his way to help somebody else. He will be with me my entire life, and that will always live on throughout me because I just want to be like my dad. I would get everything just to have one of those big bear hugs and tell him that I love you one more time. Thank you for your thoughts and prayers. They help more than you could ever imagine. I love you and will always love you so much, Dad. Joey, number 48, is right in front of Coach Bill Curry. Wow. How about Neil Brown? In an Orleans Bowl, the former Ball County star finishes the season 11-2. Troy tops North Texas 50-30. to Now, Tubby Smith is trying to beat Louisville. I hope he makes it in Memphis. He's got an uphill battle. Louisville, by the way, is getting better as they're getting closer to playing Kentucky. Uh, able for three, and Louisville tops Memphis 
to 72. Well, Louisville has to be a little mad as of late. Kentucky has owned them, winning five of the last six. Plus, Louisville's undefeated. Tomorrow at three, UK's ladies host the ladies' cards at Memorial Coliseum. Matthew Mitchell's Wildcats are eight and three. They've lost two in a row. In the meantime, the Lady Cardinals are ranked third and 12 and 0. Still stand by that statement. I think that we're going to have to be a team that's successful through hustle. Uh, being precise on on the simple things that we do and giving our our very best and our all when we do that and then you know we can we can be a really dangerous team so um, still working on that and still trying to get to that spot and um, believe we will we'll be right back <laughs> 